This is a quick little video showing you how to change the formatting of dates and times into the formatting required for Salesforce um, database. So um, what I've done here is I've created a little function. So um, I'm going Alt F11. And it's bringing up my visual basics. I'm going to go insert and I'm going to go module. And then I have code already written, which I will include in my description of my video. And so let me go over the code. So the function, we have my date as a time, um, my date, my time as a date, my date as a date, and it returns a string. So what I've done is I put an F in front of my time for meaning it's formatted. So how I'm going to format it is I'm going to change it to hours, minutes, and seconds. And how I'm going to format my date is I'm going to format my date to be years, months, and days. And the result of my, uh, my function fixed is I'm going to have my date plus the T0 plus Function, the, my, my time formatted, and then I'm going to add on the dot zero zero GMT dot zero six hundred. Now, if you're in a different time zone, <clears throat> there you would change this to suit whatever you need. <clears throat> and so now let's uh, we've got this installed. So let's go back to our um, <clears throat> to our worksheet, and I'm going to type in equals fixed. <clears throat> And then double click it. And so then you can go up to your function dialog box. And so you're going to select um, my time. And so I'm going to select this one. And now I'm going to go down to the next one and I'm going to select my date. And then I'm going to say OK. And so now you can see that your your date and time are formatted for the for the Salesforce. So let's do this again. So equals fixed. And I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to here. And one more time, I'm going to go get my time. And then I'm going to click in the other field and I go get my date. And then we say OK. And your, <clears throat> your dates and times are formatted suitable for the Salesforce. Please subscribe.